You see, as a teenager, J.C. drank four gallons of Mountain Dew every day. And he insists that Mountain Dew caused him to be sterile. As you said in the clip, you've had some wild reasons of why someone can't be the biological father. Where do you think somebody gets that idea? So we're here today with Kira Deneen. Now, Kira is a genetics counselor, and she's the host of DNA Today podcast. Hi, you're listening to DNA Today. Guess what? All of your problems, all of your questions about DNA will be answered by Kira. I hope so. Thank you so much for having me. You're the perfect person because of all the people who've questioned paternity over the decades of The Mari Show. Yes, you've had a lot of people come on. You are the father! (laughs) There are some wild, viral clips from my show where people are saying, I can't be the father because of such and such, okay? So let's roll some of these clips, and I want you to answer whether these are true or not, all right? All right, let's do it. Okay, let's go. (laughs) Africa is certain a man named Kendall is baby Khaleesi's father, but both Kendall and his mother, Melissa, are adamant that he is not the father. Kendall claims many of his other children were born with six fingers. (laughs) Baby Khaleesi has five fingers. I have four other kids, and they were both born with six fingers. That's my family trait that Khalees doesn't have. In the case of three-year-old Khalees, Kendall, you are the (laughs) fuck. The 11-finger excuse. (laughs) Yes. Possible or not? It's possible. So this is one of the most common genetic changes that we see in terms of something being different when a baby's born, of having an extra finger. So it's called polydactyly. And in most cases, it's actually random. So... Uh, hear that, everybody? Random, right? Can be random. Not genetic. But it could be genetic, Maury. Really? So in some cases, it's actually inherited. So if a parent has had that themselves, some of those cases are considered autosomal dominant, where there's a 50% chance of passing. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Now, you know, uh, over the years, uh, I- I've heard some wild... Oh, all of us have heard some wild excuses why men are in DNA denial. (laughs) JC, on the other hand, has his own theory. You see, as a teenager, JC drank four gallons of Mountain Dew every day. And he insists that Mountain Dew caused him to be sterile. In the case of eight-month-old Cameron, JC, you are the fuck! I can say, of, of the research I've done, I have not Never. seen any evidence that how excessive an, Mountain Dew. How about other soda? <laughs> I don't know about any brand of soda. There are reasons for low <laughs> sperm count, right? Sure, there's plenty of reasons. I haven't seen this be proven as one of them. <laughs> okay. All right, and our final little piece right here. Doctor told me that I have a low sperm count because I smoke a lot of weed. A doctor told you. Now, listen, Murray, this, listen. I smoke a lot of weed, right? So they say my sperm count low. So I'm looking at it like this way. Like, man, come on, man. If I'm if I'm low, ain't no way in hell I'm finna have another baby right now. Like, real talk. Come on, man. I need to ease up. That comes to three-month-old DeAsia. Bobby, you are the (laughs) father. A little weed, a little THC. Does it make a difference or not? There are some studies to say that sperm can be affected by excessive use of marijuana. And we need more studies, but I have seen things like low sperm count be attributed to that. For a fella to doubt, it's a legitimate doubt if he's doing a lot of weed. I would think so, yeah. All right. Kira, thanks. You cleared up a lot for me and our viewers. I want to thank you all very much. And by the way, if you want to hear more from Kira, go to her podcast at dnatoday.com.